Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be talking you through the most important support and resistance levels that I am trading off of right now. On top of this, I'm going to be going through the question of is now the right time to have a bearish bias expecting much lower prices in the medium term? Or is it actually better to have a bullish bias now expecting all time highs to be pushed in the very bullish month of April? That's the question I'll be asking and answering during today's video. And I truly believe if you just pay full attention to what I'm saying, make some notes, just truly listen. I honestly believe that this video is going to be able to help and assist you become a better trader. I truly believe that. So I want to help you. Let me help you make some notes, pay attention and let's begin. Bitcoin, 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 our old friend, our levels now that we've had for the last few days, very well respected. Obviously, originally while we were, well, personally, I was obviously taking my shorts from around $59,500. We had that key support, $58,400. As we all know how that progressed very nicely, we came down to touch our key support. We came back up to take the highs across all exchanges. And obviously that gave us our absolutely perfect bull trap we have been waiting <laughs> we have been, well personally i've been waiting patiently for this epic bull trap and we re we really did get that when we took the highs here okay we had an extreme move to the downside a very extreme move down okay and during this move down this was one of the highest liquidations amounts in the history of bitcoin for the time taken in that hour we were seeing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and milli of millions of longs liquidated why was this well over leveraged traders trying to trade within this range and then obviously the breakout really was the icing of the cake of the bull trap highs taken longs trapped liquidations occur okay that's just the name of the game when it comes to trading and one second obviously what we can see from here is epic bull trap was really 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 quick move to the downside people don't really have time to react of this unless they were prepared and ultimately you come down and take these lows and why was this so important to take these lows? Well, one could argue that this was a bullish, this was quite bullish to take these lows. Why? Because people that have been long, arguably, in my opinion, people that have been long almost from $50,000, what people or what traders, especially swing traders will do is they will trail their stops up with the higher lows. Okay, they'll be trailing their stops. And when we make this new high and a new high, they will have trailed their stops up to here. So why was this so epic? Why, you know, why was this such an epic bull trap? Why was this such an epic move to the downside? Well, we will have taken a lot of people's stops. So what does that mean? Well, it means a lot of the bulls, a lot of people that were long on Bitcoin, even if they were long from, you know, all the way down here, it's highly likely that they have been stopped out of this move. And we can see that when we start to look into the volume. A lot of liquidations, a lot of people stopped out. You can see this by looking at the decline in open interest. You know, lots of people removed from the market. So how does that in turn become more bullish? Where if a lot of people are forced out of the market through their stop loss being hit, they are then forced to buy back again. And obviously because of this, the reaction off the lows was also, you know, also quick and bullish. You know, the people that were stopped out at the lows here are forced to buy back at a higher price if they want to get back into the market, you know. And um, well, that's, in my opinion, that's kind of what happened here. I personally was had that key level of 56,800. And uh, obviously, as you, as you saw in yesterday's video, I did buy that low. And in the end, that went very well indeed, I suppose. Um, but really, give myself a pat on the back as always, because we obviously made our way in the end up to our key level. But what I would like to do is talk to you about the importance of, first of all, having that plan. And second of all, recognizing what, what is a high probable trade. So we could use this as an example, right, where we are right ha right, ne right here, you know, what $59,000. Do we have a highly probable short here? And, you know, the answer is no. You know, your best shorts, one would argue, is at your key resistance, no? And do you have a good long here? Well, I'm going to say no as well, because where would be your best long? It would be more towards the key level of support here. So where you are right here, you can acknowledge Maybe you have a sculpt trade. You know, I'm talking about more of a day trade here. Sculpt, not really necessary in this. But if we're talking about a nice day trade, we want to either wait for lower or wait for higher. So we can acknowledge that right now is not a good time to take a trade. 
Why? Because we are waiting for the highest probability trades. Why would we why would we gamble? Well, the answer is the only way we would gamble is if we are impatient, waiting for our high probability trade, or we just have a gambling addiction, you know, and, and you just want to take trades for the hell of it. And, and if that's the case, then you're, you're just going to lose money over time in, in, in trading. Um, so basically, what, 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 what did we have down here then? Well, we had obviously a very nice reaction originally from the low. Again, I got my, my long at the absolute absolute wick of the low. But let's say you miss this and, and loads of people will miss that. Why? Because it requires a pretty high level of confidence and skill to try and time the lows here. Just as when I was short in the high, it, it you know, it's not for everybody. And I recognize this long's not for everybody. So what was the next best thing? If you know, if you missed this long and you missed this short, what what would you be thinking to yourself? Okay, where's the next best trade from here? And let's just remind ourselves when it was looking like this. What what would be your thought process? What would be you know, what are you thinking in that moment of time? Well, my my thinking in that moment of time is I do not think Bitcoin is going to V-shape recover. What is a V-shape recovery? It means that it will just do instantly down and instantly straight back up. Okay. My thought process is it's very likely that we will come down for a retest towards the lows. Why? Because you like to test demand. This, you know, we're talking about bigger market makers now. Market makers will like to test demand see how much people are willing to buy, see how much people are willing to sell, test the books, you know, and then, oops, sorry about that, and then react. So that's why it's very unlikely that you would just go straight back up with, with no retest towards the lows. Okay, I'm going to play you this really quick five, you know, this is about a 10 second clip of the thought process that I was going through yesterday in a members only live stream, just so you can see exactly what I was saying. That's kind of my game plan. I suppose it's, I think it's most likely that we test the CC. I don't think it's likely that we like just do this. I, I, I think it's likely that we test the CC. But so as you could see that, I was doing a uh, members only update and I was saying it's very likely that we test this CC. As you can see here from a few more, a few more posts, we mark out the CC, uh, update as soon as we were hitting it. Giving that update, we have now hit that CC level. So that's what it looks like on the grand scheme of things. And, you know, I was talking through there's a possibility of shorting to that CC. There was many options, you know, that we really had here. But mostly the biggest takeaway is that CC was a very, very important level. OK, well, let's add on the CC and then just, you know, really highlight why we wait for these high probability trades. As you can see here, uh, we were talking about why we would stay patient to wait for high probability setups. So if you missed this long, you got to wait for the retrace. If you missed this short, well, in my opinion, you, you 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 did have an acceptable short with your stop loss back above here and, and target the CC. So you could have taken that short to here and then longed the CC as you actually hit that level, you know. Well, we can all see how that really played out in the end. We hit the, C the low of that CC to the absolute dollar. You know, <laughs> what can we say? This is very, 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 very accurate. Uh, but you had me backing you up. We had we had team hashtag <laughs> hashtag CC pool <laughs> defending the CC. What can we say? But yeah, you, you hit that low to to the absolute dollar market makers because are able to see there's clearly demand at the CC. So that is giving confidence to push price back up higher again. OK, it's a simple case of you don't want to go for the V shapes. You want to test the demand, test, test the books. And then you go for the push. OK, then you would go for the push. So this obviously is in this, my opinion, this was a this was a nice short. If, if you felt like it. I did not take that short, by the way, I did not take the short, but I did take the long off the CC and I'd already had a long here. I took another long off the CC. I did close that short. Uh, sorry, I did close that long as we retested our key level again. We obviously tested it to the dollar. here. Um, I was already out of my long at this point. OK, I'm just now waiting patiently. And offer this retest for me personally, I did take a short. So I want to talk you through this now to help you. So I did personally, after I saw this rejection, take a short here. Because what am I thinking at the time? Well, I'm thinking to myself, okay, we've just rejected to, to the absolute dollar, the exact level where we I had prior trade is a very nice long. And now I'm thinking to myself, okay, we've got a rejection for my key resistance. Let's take a short. Obviously, in the end, that trade did not work out because we came back down. We really got a resistance support test and we came back up. So obviously, I took a little bit of a loss on that short trade, which is absolutely fine. You know, for me, that's absolutely fine to take the loss of that of that trade. Um, so you can see off, off, on the day I had the short from up here, 
well, that was extremely nice. <laughs> had the long from down here, which actually it was still running during the day. I had a second long taken from the CC. And then I took a short here. And that short obviously lost, which is fine. Eh? From here, we got a very nice move back above our key level. And then the retest of the level, which then, in my opinion, offered a long trade. Long, have a guess where we take that up to. Back up to our key level of resistance. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> from here, we can see very nice... We have the resistance almost to the dollar three times before a move back down ultimately. And we, we know we missed this by 0 0.2, you know, 0 0.2 percent now, about 0 0.3 percent. We hit we, we then get the retest of our key support level. And then that's where we kind of bring us, us up to here, which is very much range bound now. So why have I taught you through this last 24 hours? So I, I really wanted to highlight. I really wanted to highlight. The, the the reason of why we mark out these levels in the first place, because if, if you did not have, you know, you have to remember, I gave you these levels in advance, especially if you're in the contenders and champions group. I even gave you this lower support, which was like, let's be honest, that was a gold mine level to give. <laughs> but I gave the public this level and this level for free. Only the only the members had this lower support. But nevertheless, if you had marked out those two levels when I gave you them a few days ago. You would have been able to take this long. You would have been able to take this short position. And then you could have simultaneously still been trading off this level even yesterday. And this level still in play today. So this is the reason of getting those key levels. And I think it's fair to say, like, when I give a level, I mean, it's just, it's just key. Let's just say it. It just literally is dictating the market. And this is not me, you know, the, the facts are in front of you, like the facts are in front of you, like these levels are dictating the market to the dollar. <laughs> that was absolutely to the dollar. This isn't me trying to brag. I'm just saying this is literally what's happening. So, you know, that, you know, the chart will do the speaking for me. I don't need to emphasize how good these levels are. And so what was important here? It was the patience of waiting for the magic magic cc we come into the magic magic cc we get a nice move up i wanted to talk you through this losing trade that i took here to show you know i'm not winning every single trade that i'm taking i'm taking a high win rate during the day and overall you know I'm, my, my loss here is you know about 0.2 percent and the winners we're all talking about coming on five ten percent gains so you know you want to keep your losses small winners big but at the end of the day these are still high you know these are nice probability trades you've got to take them if it doesn't work out move on to the next trade you know took a loss here on the short within a few minutes i'm back into the long why because i'm not trading my bias i am trading the charts the charts do not lie if we reclaim resistance as support the chart showing me that it's bullish means it's you know it means it's a good long if we're coming up into my key resistance and we're getting rejections it means the chart is bearish let's take a short you know i'm not so I told you at the start of this video, I will answer the question. Do I have right now a bearish bias for the medium term expecting much lower prices? Or do I have a bullish bias for the month of March, which has historically been a very bullish month for Bitcoin? Go and look at April. <laughs> Coming on now nearly 10 years. And every month of April is very bullish for Bitcoin. So the question of do I have a bullish or bearish bias? I can honestly say I have no bias right now. I am neither very bullish or nor really bearish. You know, I have no bias. Why do I have no bias? Well, I had an initial bias thinking that we will get a really, you know, a really big bull trap. And that has occurred. In my opinion, that has occurred when we had the move back above the highs and in a crazy move to the downside, one of the highest liquidation hours in the history of Bitcoin. That's a pretty epic trap. And then on top of that, we also take all of the serious lows here. So now that's occurred, I can honestly say I am approaching this in a very neutral fashion in terms of if we break our key resistance, we look bullishly towards our next level above us. Should we break our medium level of support? Well, naturally, we can look back down towards our lower key support. But what I'm not going to be thinking here, where we are, again, in the middle of the range, I'm not going to be thinking to myself, I have a massive bearish bias, I'm expecting much lower prices, or this is really bullish, I'm expecting much higher prices. I am just going to say to myself, there is no need to be really bullish, nor really bearish, even really on the medium term here, because we have a very well-defined range. This range, the levels are well respected, and it's, I want to say it's a very easy range to trade. This is not really that difficult. 
And the advantage of this is because these levels are so clearly defined, if we break the higher the range, we can, you know, accept this is a more of a bullish scenario where we're breaking up. Should we break the low or the medium of this range? We might not get the whole test to the lows, to be fair. You have a medium support coming in still at around, you know, $58,000. That doesn't mean necessarily that if we break this support, we are coming all the way down there. I think you've got that intermediate support around 58K. You know, remember that. But nevertheless, we still, if we break this, this support, 58,400, we can look towards 58K and then look back down to the lows here. And should we break the key level of resistance? Well, naturally, we got 60K, 60,500, and then 61,000. Uh, it's coming in around 61,600, your next level of resistance. You know, obviously above that, you've got all-time highs, all-time highs again on the Bitcoin chart. You know, if we start to break this key resistance, am I going to be thinking, oh, I need to short, I need to short, I need to... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to accept this is moving to the upside. The same as if we break this key support, am I going to be, I need to long, I need to long, I need to long. I'm just going to be accepting, okay, let's try and let these, you know, let's wait for the reactions then off of our next key levels. You know, I just really want to emphasize in this video because I feel it's very important for me to just really clear up the fact I have no underlying bias right now. I am not only going to look for shorts. I'm not only going to look for longs. I am just going to trade the charts and I will take my trades, be that longs, be that shorts, where I feel I have the highest probability trades. How do I get those high probability trades? Well, of course, I'm doing my technical analysis. I'm doing my FIB work such as looking at our CC retracements. You know, we're looking at our volume, looking at our volume profiles, looking at our TPO charts. You know, we're, we're, we're right now loving the pitchforks. You know, you got your order flow. Last night, I taught the members about how to read the order book. So, you know, you got these, you got these different technical tools which come together as confluence and you start to have very, very highly probable trades. And this is the beauty of technical analysis. Some people will say it's gambling. I will say, you know, <laughs> how is this gambling when we are only taking trades which are 80 plus percent probabilities that so we are the casino and then on top of that the levels that i'm giving are respected to the dollar to the dollar to the dollar almost to the dollar uh you know this original short here was was within 0.01 percent you know you know it's pretty clear that it's not gambling or <laughs> if, if we're gambling and we are we, I, I would say that anyway we are the casino the odds are in our favor we win much more than we lose so it's you know, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up, really. But, you know, <laughs> I have no underlying bearish bias right now. And I will just simply trade these charts. If it if it drops, look for longs. If it, if it rises, you know, maybe a bit cautious on the short. I am aware that April is a very, 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 very bullish month. doesn't mean that in 2021 it has to be bullish, of course. But I'm aware that it is a historically very bullish month. So that might take a bit of caution if we start to break up, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, trade the charts. And I hope that I've, uh, you know, assisted you a little bit in, in giving you my perspective of this uh, and, and, and a way that I am approaching this in the way that I'm approaching this. And, and why, you know, the important thing is why do I have no underlying bias? Well, the simple fact is we are currently in a range. Why, why would I have an underlying bias, you know? So I hope that that has been made very clear. And you have also seen the power of me predicting these levels in advance and the respect that they really do get. Absolutely. I mean, just look, look at that one into the CC, off the key level, you know, very nice take profits. And, uh, you know, in the end, we obviously broke through that level, brings us up to where we are really now, which is still within that range. You know, I would like to have a long we've been going on for 18 minutes. I, I, I want to basically talk now a little bit off topic. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was, um, I was debating whether I do this section or not, but I kind of feel compelled. I'd like to talk about it. Um, you know, I, I would say maybe if you're only here for the technical analysis, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the technical analysis for now. I want to talk more about game theory. I want to talk about emotions, The you know, what is failure, what is success, and just the community spirit, I suppose. Um, yeah, this might not be interesting for everybody, but for me, you know, I, I want to talk about it. So, it's my channel. I'm going to talk about it. Um, and that is, that is the, I want to talk through this post, basically. I'll try and make this so it's very visible for everybody across all devices. Sometimes you have to make it a bit smaller. So I want to talk you through this. I mean, I'm going to read this out and then expand upon it a little bit more. Okay. So uh, if you're there here for the TA, <laughs> hope you enjoyed. Love that background, by the way. Thanks. Thanks for the guy that made that. And let's just read you through this post. Uh, it's a little bit on the uh, the emotion and, and, and how you improve yourself, I suppose. 
Successful people don't feel failure, but understand that it is necessary to learn and grow from. Keep trying, hold on, and always, always, always believe in yourself, because if you don't, then who will? This is not my quote, by the way. This is a quote taken from the internet. The rest of these words, all the rest of the words are my own words. <laughs> but this first quote, I think this is, I can't remember who it was from, but this, this, these, this first bit is not my words. This is my words then. And this is uh, to do with trading. We need to accept that as traders, we will take losses. Do not let a loss drown you and blind you for the next trade. Accept the loss and understand what went wrong so you do not repeat the same mistake again. And if you do repeat the mistake again, then you have not learned. I had to take hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of losses before I started to understand what to do right. Think of each loss as a step, and each step takes you closer to the end goal of freedom and happiness. Are you going to give up on happiness because of failure? Or are you going to say goodbye to failure on your way past to success? Good night, everybody, and take profits. <laughs> you know, what I, what I wanted to emphasize here is the point of, it's just because, I, you know, I see this on a daily basis. And, you know, people will get so hung up on one loss in the day. And it's just like, you know, this is why I wanted to emphasize, yes, you know, yesterday I took a loss. You know, I took a very small loss. But this is the thing. Some people are going to take a small loss here and, and they're, they're going to let it affect them for the rest of the day. But instead of getting affected by this, I say, hey, I, I took this short for a very good reason. It didn't work out. And instead of getting hung up on it, I reversed my position into a long as soon as we got the flip. So, you know, what we are trying to emphasize here, first of all, losses are normal in trading. You, you cannot expect 100% win rates. It's just not viable. It's just never going to happen. So 100% win rate is, is, not, is not even possible. But on top of that, if you get so focused and upset about a loss, you really, really, really just need to work on that mindset and the acceptance of what is trading. You know, trading is not 100% win rate. You know, trading is at the end a game of probabilities. And if you truly accept trading for a game of probabilities, you will totally understand that each outcome of every trade is essentially random. And you are just trying to play that highest probability trade with no guarantee at the end of it. And, you know, if you're getting upset about a loss, if you're, you know, and people do, people get very upset. And I, and I have to say, you know, I'm not speaking above people. I, I would have got, you know, the same would have happened to me when I was a newer trader. I got upset about losses. So I can speak to you from somebody that's experienced this, you know. And if I'd remained in that men mindset of, oh, you know, taking a loss, staying up at night, not being able to sleep, you know, having that sick feeling in your stomach when something goes wrong. I've gone through all those emotions. I've had the sleepless nights, you know, I've had those sick feelings when you see, you know, that your, you know, your investment, so to speak, going down, you know, it's not, it's not great, is it? But I can safely say now, years later, I've, I've overcome those, you know, mindset problems and, I've true, I truly now trade in a position of power. I will only trade if the trade comes to me. I will only trade if my technical analysis is playing out. How do you get to that level? Well, honestly, the way that you get to this level is, first of all, really buckling down and, and really studying, like just put a lot of time into learning. And then once you've got the theories locked down, then you, you just need to put a lot of time into practice. You know, there's obviously a difference between theory and, and practice. And that's why it's important to, you know, actually do a lot of practice, actually spend a lot of time with the charts. And then when you start to get that to, to that level of, you know, once you've done your practice, you, you will see your confidence start to increase. And I think that when you start to have that confidence increase, when you start to see yourself actually winning trades and making money, you know, you kind of lose these older mindsets that you might have had when, you know, you're maybe, maybe you're taking quite a lot of losses. And naturally, that's going to be pretty depressing you now. But at the end of the day, what I wanted to, you know, what I wanted to just emphasize here is, you know, we're here to help or at the end of the day, or not just me, I suppose everybody in the community, you know, we are a community that are here to help other people. And, you know, I think the worst thing that you can do is honest, you know, obviously this is a personal decision for everybody, but, you know, like giving up, you know, I would always say like in my vocabulary, give up like doesn't exist. Because if you give up, then you've already, you 100% you have failed. So I just, I just feel like giving up is the, is the worst option. And there was a very interesting, funny enough, a gift that I found yesterday. We, we were talking about iceberg orders. 
in yesterday's stream you might wonder what's an iceberg order but i'm just going to talk you through this picture of the iceberg in this video <laughs> iceberg order for another video uh but this is this is a very nice picture i felt of an iceberg and this is what people see the success but what do not people see so what do successful people go through um in order to reach success and th this is what people and you might i i don't want to don't want to be condescending but i would say that i'm a successful trader and i guess people when they see these videos they just see me giving a level they see it being respected very well and they're just like wow you know that that guy is successful in trading but what people do not see is exactly these points. And this is why I love this so much. The dedication. I mean, personally, <laughs> I, yeah, I can usually spend 16 hours a day on the computer. Long, 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 long days I'm doing. And, you know, this is obviously a mixture of just being in the discords, as well as doing my own trading, recording my own statistics. You know, I'm, I'm always, you know, I'm very much dedicated to my craft and, and that is trading. And now I suppose also being a mentor, you know, being a mentor and doing educational lessons that that takes its time and dedication as well so people do not see these type of things so the hard work yeah man i i can't i can't under you know underestimate the amount of hard work that really does go into trading you, you cannot just expect trading to be easy it it, it does require dedication and, and hard work okay 100 percent. it's not an easy ride if you think it's going to be an easy ride well you're probably going to be disappointed when you keep losing your trades good habits you know waking up for london open every day you know, not many people, I suppose, if they're millionaires, are going to be thinking to them. Actually, no, I think that's wrong. I do think successful people are doing this. So I suppose that is the majority of quote unquote rich people are doing this. So I guess that's wrong. I, I suppose the people that do not have good habits, that do not have hard work and dedication, they they, they might not be as successful. I, I'm not trying to, um, you know, I want to do this in a very... <laughs> Moving on. Uh, disappointment. You know, people don't see the disappointment that you go through, the sacrifices that you make and the failures that you have had to get to that success. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've failed, the amount of sacrifices that I've had in disappointments, you know, sacrifices in particular, sacrificing relationships, sacrificing, you know, losing friends, I suppose, losing people close to me. You know, yeah, definitely. I have 100% sacrificed these type of things. And, you know, would I would I change anything? No, I, I wouldn't change it. But I do acknowledge that I have lost people close to me through maybe spending too much time in trading, you know. But that, 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 that's just something that you have to um, deal with i suppose but a failure in terms of losing lots of trades the disappointment that goes along with that loss of trades okay but at the end it's all about the persistence we have not given up and to get to the top to be the very best you have to persevere with hard work and dedication those are the three main things and if you want to be the very best you have to work more than everybody else because that that's what i personally feel that separates me from another trader I recognize that we might have the same brain, we might have the same mental skills, we might be at the same level of trading. But if we can be, if I can be 0.01% better than the, 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 the trader next to me, how am I able to do that? Well, I truly feel it's putting in that extra level of work, going that extra mile. You know, yeah, I, I feel the, 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 you know, key focus here is, is really on the hard work, the dedication, and, and really persevering, not giving up, pushing that extra mile. You know, going, working harder than everyone else. To be the best, you've got to work harder than everyone else. It's not just about natural skills. Trading is not really natural per se. You have to actually put in that dedication. So, yeah, I felt that was a really interesting gift I wanted to talk you through there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, how long have we gone on now for? 28 minutes. Wow. I'm not sure how many people will still be watching the video. Maybe, maybe we've only got, like, two people still watching. <laughs> um there was one more post that i wanted to go through here and i was i'm debating just should i go through it in this 28 minutes i imagine this will totally you know the thing is i don't like doing these long videos you know and, and i also feel that i might get emotional talking you through this next step so it's like dear man should i embarrass myself hey because if i start crying on this video hey <laughs> oh man i'm gonna do it all I'm just gonna war all I'm just gonna warn you is you know if you don't want to see some guy like tear up then um <laughs> you, you might want to click off the video now because you know this next topic really hit home for me. I'm not gonna lie, it did bring a tear to my eye. And um 
I'm going to I'm going to do it in this video. I, I do apologize for the length of it, but I'm sure we only have like two people that have still bothered. You know, the majority of people just want to know when long, when short. <laughs> so I don't think we have many, many people still left here. But um, for the people that are still here, Bitcoin is still doing absolutely nothing. So we're still waiting for this key level. I have some time still. So let, let, let's talk you through this last bit before we end, I suppose, then. <sighs> and if I tear up, oh, <laughs> man, I want to talk you through. I, I, I'm not going to show the name of the guy. Um, I don't know whether he wants his name. I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't really mind, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. But I don't want to show his name just, just in case. You know, this is a public YouTube video. This was obviously posted within the Champions group. But man, this, this post really hit home for me. And it was really, really, you know, it just made me think for a minute of the importance of, you know, just in life, you know. So I'll re read this out for you. Um, negativity is such a powerful thing to have to deal with. Believe me, I've had my lion's share in my time. As a person who has been through hell and back from a very young age to my adult life, it's one of the hardest things a person has to deal with. I've been abandoned by my parents and brought myself up. I've been a drug addict and an alcoholic. I've been in debt most of my life because I've had nobody to turn to. Yet through it all, I'm still here in this group, changing my life for the better. I'm really starting to get there. And Daniel, this is 100% because of you and your teachings. Never let negativity turn something into anything less. And he obviously had very nice reactions. And then this was his follow-up post. After reading through... After posting this, I've had a few messages from people who are going through their own struggles in life. And I'd like to say this. Never give up on what you want from life. If it takes one year or 40 years, never give up on your dreams. For anyone that is struggling with anything at all, my inbox is always open to anyone who wants to chat about dealing with stress, depression, anxiety, addiction or negativity. I'm quite like myself here. I might joke and troll on the daily, but I do have a very serious size, a very, very serious side when it comes to adversity, despite my name and my avatar. If I can make it so that somebody doesn't feel alone in life, then I am here. There is always someone who is willing to listen to you, despite how you might feel in the moment. Much love to all champs and always stay positive. Man. I read that yesterday and honestly, I had a tear in my eye. I was like, oh, man, you know, this is, this is, this is, this is what we want, you know, this is what we want. And, um, you know, for me, it was just, it was so heartwarming, you know, it's just like, you just, you just get that really, you just get that feeling in your heart and you're just like, you know, when everything seems really bad and you think everybody is just, you know, you just, you just get this like feeling sometimes that you just like, you want to, you know, you do want to just feel really low. And then you read these sort of posts and it's like, yeah, there are, there are really, you know, the majority of the world is really, really, really nice. You know, you, you have a few bad apples, but the majority is, are brilliant people. What can we say? Like the majority of the world, you know, I want to say everybody is, is, is absolutely brilliant. And, you know, that post for me was just, was just really nice, I suppose. And I wanted to read it out because I felt it deserved some attention. It did get me last night <laughs> writing up a little bit more, which I'm going to read out my post now. Uh, and again, maybe I'm speaking to myself in this video, but hey, keeps keeps my <laughs> keeps me keeps me thinking about something. You know, keeps my thoughts on this for now. Late night thoughts, feeling cute, my delete. <laughs> Obviously, instead of deleting it, I'm I'm reading it out in a YouTube, public YouTube video. <laughs> maybe to myself then. We speak about money every day, but in the end, money does not define us. Money without love is meaningless. Always end on a positive note with your loved ones. Treat your friends and family well. Spoil them and give a smile to others. Honestly, one genuine comment can make someone's day. We never know what someone else is going through, so it's important to remember to always treat others with the respect and kindness. It makes me proud to see the loving family we have created here. Very supportive, very supportive and friendly. Let's keep ourselves to these high standards as we fight for our goals together. Just want to say that money does not equate to more happiness. As many, many people might argue with me. Um, you know, the famous, I'd, I'd prefer to cry in a Lamborghini than I would prefer to cry on the streets. And of course, this is the thing that one can acknowledge uh, I think 
what's what's this what's this what's this saying that i uh, oh man i i have sayings that i love and like i have writ up and i can't remember i'm not in the right don't have it in this office these these quote i have some quotes sometimes on my on my wall and i don't have them here but the quote is something along the lines of you know money helps to a certain extent because of course if you are you know if you are considered very 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 poor and you don't have a lot of money of course money is going to be beneficial but it gets to a certain point money where you know when you're talking about the difference between i don't know 10 million and 100 million and a billion and 10 you know these are all at the end of the day numbers and more money in that regards does not increase your happiness it just becomes a number of course if you are you know homeless or something like this of, of course then money is going to be an absolute it is going to likely equate to more happiness to a certain extent and i understand this and it's you got to take it at, at, at you know face value but moving on happiness is found from within and who you surround yourself with so although i want to help you all excel and have brilliant futures from trading profits i would just like to remind you and myself that all the money in the world cannot replace family and friends. Let's make a conscious conscious effort to sell conscious effort to sell to sell someone we love them tomorrow. Help someone in need. Do a good deed and make them smile. But do it from love and because you want to help. You know, so I'm not saying go out and do something nice tomorrow because I told you to do it. I'm just, you know not that anyone would do that anyway, but I'm just saying if, if you want to help somebody, if you want to give to charity, if you want to, you know, give people genuine comments, you do these sort of things because you want to. You know, where there are some people that will help out somebody just to post it on Facebook. Like, you know, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit, but people will be like, hey, look at me, I've just given to charity or, hey, I've just helped this homeless guy. And it's like, are they doing these things because they want to help somebody or are they doing it to post on Facebook? And I think you can very much tell if people need to like highlight everything that they're doing. I personally, I'm like, mm, I don't know this. What are you really doing this for? And I, I think that you want to help somebody because you actually really, truly do want to help them. OK, so, you know. Yeah, sorry, uh, too much whiskey and I should sleep. Love you all and thank you for the continued support. I honestly write from my heart and I hope to make you all proud. And uh, yeah, this was my this was my. Uh, Maybe I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest. I don't know, really. Last night, I was just like, I was reading all these things. And, uh, you know, my per personally, I'm going through some stuff right now. And it's just like, I don't know. I just wanted to like speak and get, yeah, I just wanted to speak. I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know, man, you know. Um, you know, I just think it's really. Yeah, I just think that sometimes, um, you know. Um, yeah, I just think at the end of the day, I suppose where I'm trying to go with this now is you do not know the struggles that other people are going through and somebody that can appear very happy might not necessarily be happy. And I'm not trying to, do, to point this towards myself. OK, I'm not trying to do this. I'm just trying to say that in life in general, you never actually know the struggles somebody else is going through. So, like, you know, when, um, and again, I'm not trying to point this to my, myself. I'm just really am talking in general right now. I, I honestly am. You know, j just remember that. And when you remember that, you 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 must remember the, 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 the fact that, you know, spreading negative comments, spreading negative sayings, you know, spending time on negative energy is, is not going to be beneficial to anybody. And at the worst case, it might actually be, very detrimental um this is a little bit off topic um no i'm not going to go into that actually i'm not going to go into that but yeah at the end of the day i just think really 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 think if we if we and I, I just, I'm just speaking that right now. I'm just, I'm, I don't know, this is now spontaneous, just making this up as, we, as we're going along. I have nothing planned to say anymore. But I just think if we, as a community, and I guess I'm just speaking to myself now, like if we make conscious efforts to, to really genuinely, you know, just appreciate, I suppose, appreciate what we have and do not waste this time. Because I think we, 
I mean, as for myself, I, we spend so much time on trading that sometimes you 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 do forget about your you know your friends and your family. And I suppose a tip for myself, from my heart, is you know yes, like I was writing here, we we talk about making money every day, and it's kind of like you know it's kind of like this we talk about making money and then i'm also saying money is not the most important thing you know there's obviously you have to make a balance i suppose you have to make a, a, a good balance what's the point in having all this money if you have nobody to share this with you know i hope that makes sense so I, I think it's just really important to share positive vibes all the time you know if you have something negative to say it's just be best to not say anything at all in my opinion uh, of course, you're everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but and people can obviously share whatever they want. But I think, I suppose, if you're receiving negatives, just just block it. And this is something that I'm going to do. Like it's just best to just block and move on. People are entitled to think whatever they want. You cannot change people's minds, but you can change what you listen to, I suppose. And yeah, the the, the final point there about money does not equate happiness. I can you know. I can say that with one million percent, um, you know, again, up to this certain point that, you know, I could, I could make 200 million tomorrow and, and my life would not change in any way. And it's just like m money is just numbers sort of thing. It's, it really is not the most important thing. Um, the most important thing at the end of the day is your friends, genuine friends, and it is your family. And money cannot bring these things back you know so just remember that well, well when 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 you're spending so much time on a charts when you're spending so much time learning just just remember that sometimes you know f phone up your friend f f phone up your mum phone up your dad and just say to them hey i love you <laughs> hey i love you do you want to you want to meet up and go for go for a beer you know just just take some time i suppose and yeah, you know, last time, last night when I was writing this up, man, I was, I, 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 I was, uh, man, I, I had some tears flowing through my face. I'm pretty surprised that I managed to hold myself together so well today. I'm not going to lie. I thought I, thought I thought I might have broke down in tears. <laughs> but I think I've actually held up pretty well. So I'm happy about that. I didn't really want to cry on video, but I thought I might have. So I'm going to wrap it up here before I do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. I know it's gone on for a long one. I know it's a 40 minute video. I'm sure only like two people. Maybe I'm just speaking to myself at the end here. <laughs> so for myself, thank you. Thank you for getting your thoughts out. For me, it's just helpful sometimes to get it out. I don't know. If you've made it through this far, hey, you have my respect. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a brilliant day of trading. Uh, final words, I suppose. Yeah, I, I honestly say can say I have no bias. If, if we start to break up, hey, bullish, bullish, bullish. If we start to break down, trade it to the next support level, a bit more bearish locally, I suppose. But I, I have no underlying bias anymore. We had the bull trap. That played. Love you, Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much. Have a brilliant day. I'm going to head back over to Discord. Got a few messages to go through here. So have a brilliant day, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And yeah, I suppose if you, yeah. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye.